Hello everyone, Steve from Tech Toy Tinker and Retro Arena. Just wanted to do a quick video to show you a first time setup and install process of Tomato for your TrimUI Smart Pro. The first thing you want to do is go to this website here and download Rufus, which you will use to format something bigger than 32 gigs to FAT32. So you want to go here and download and launch Rufus, and then when you put your SD card into your PC, and you launch Rufus, you want to make sure that it's set to non-bootable and FAT32 before you flash it or format it. Once that finishes, you want to navigate to where you've unzipped your 101, or sorry, 104.1 tomato. Then you just want to drag and drop over, and you want to let it all copy over. It will take a few minutes, and I'm not going to make you watch this entire process, so I'll just go ahead and meet you at the device when it's done. And we're back here, thanks to some video magic. So what you want to do... I've put the card we were writing into my unit. You want to hold power and then volume down. When the screen comes on, you're going to let go of power. It'll take a moment. And then when you see it come on, you let go of power. Now you can let go of the volume button as well. This process here will take a minute, so it'll give us a chance to talk about other stuff. You only need to do this if you don't already have Tomato and or Portmaster installed. The reason for that is because Portmaster needs to modify some stuff on the internal storage. So even if you're already coming from firmware 104 to 104, it's important that you reinstall it anyways. And as I stated in previous videos, it is included in the base of the zip, which is another reason why we use FAT32. You can literally just drag tomato onto your FAT32 card and do this straight away, boot right into it. Now, once that install part is done there, have a good look at my ceiling light. You see this logo and this starting thing pop up, and then you'll see it go right into the Portmaster stuff, which is what you want to see. That's the important bit here. It does take a minute, but it does work. Portmaster itself also takes a minute to install, but it is what it is. So that would do this for X001 and 002. And once that finishes, then it will boot you into your Tomato OS. Just to clear up some confusion as to what Tomato is, it is based on stock firmware, and then it's built upon that. So when we first got the device, the stock firmware only had about 30 systems on it, and we immediately realized that that was nowhere close to the potential for what this device could actually run. So basically we just set out adding new stuff to it. And that became Tomato. So here now we're in the GUI here. I am going to probably have to move my device off screen for a second because it occurs to me that I require Wi-Fi. So I'm going to have to log into Wi-Fi real quick here. So you're just going to have to bear with me for a moment while I connect to the internet. Please ignore the uh, lack of anything being on the screen. It's just scanning. Bad time to fit a long Wi-Fi password. Okay, I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. I just can't lower it down yet because it still shows my password. Okay, there we go. All connected. So now we're going to go over to apps. And then we're going to find Portmaster. There it is. It will take a second to launch during first launch because it is doing some stuff in the background. That's all normal and expected. There's nothing wrong. So as you can see, it's going to immediately update itself to the latest version. It's been set up as well so that it can't downgrade to a broken version. Like a, it's a safety feature or a failsafe put in by Cloptops. Also, huge shout out to Cloptops, by the way, for putting all the work into Portmaster here. I'm not going to keep the video going too much longer. I just want it to actually update itself and boot up so I can kind of show you around, show you everything works. First thing you want to do here is go into Options. And you're going to want to pick a theme. This white UI here, not great. Personally, I like Zelda. I know Sebian and some others prefer the Fallout theme, but I'm going to go with Zelda because that's my thing. 
To me, it just looks really nice. Fallout looks good too, don't get me wrong, but I'm a huge Zelda fan. Always have been, always will be. So there we go. And to give you the option to press A once that's done, A to select, it'll kick you out of Portmaster and relaunch itself. We'll just pick a quick ready to run port. So as you can see, everything here is running quite nicely. It's all been put together into one easy to set up package, so you literally just drag and drop it all to your card, boot it up, reinstall the firmware, Portmaster comes with it, and you just log into Wi-Fi and away you go. It doesn't matter if you add your games in BIOS before or after setting up Portmaster and all that. It makes no difference to the actual process. You just have to make sure that you your first boot you're holding this button here the volume down and power as I showed you earlier I don't think I'm gonna make you guys watch the entire install because it could take a minute I just wanted to show you that everything did work and as intended as always though thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe hope you enjoyed the video and I hope this video was able to help you with your new device enjoy take care